also, actually, while I'm still alive, I'm going to talk about something really fast. So, the whole insane trilogy thing. Dude, I don't think they should... I honestly don't think they should show off warped footage this Friday. But that's just me. Like, I feel like it's too damn soon. Like, they should have saved the warped gameplay for A3. They can still show it off, but... Because they're not showing off every single level. They're only showing off Tomb Raider, I believe. That's one of the levels that was that you could vote for. But... I don't know, man. I feel like they should have kept that shit till E3, to be honest. Like, no, the Crash 2 one doesn't make him look crazy. I mean, he was already, he was always crazy. Let me show y'all something real quick, because a lot of people, there's too much misconceptions with Crash Bandicoot, and it's actually kind of scary how it is. So let me show you something. One of his eyes are bigger than the other. Look at that shit. It was always he was always like that, so I don't know why people are actually like pointing it out as if it's a bad thing. Well, really, it's not. It's just that you're not used to seeing that type of angle with Crash. His cheekbone is different on the Crash 2 art, as well as his uh, eyes. Right here. Okay, yeah, I get it. You're not used to him seeing. You're not used to seeing the main pupil bigger than the other. But. I mean, Crash was always a crazy character, so I don't know why this is a surprise to people. I don't know why people are pointing it out as if it's different. It's not different. But Carrie's Vicious knows exactly what they're doing. His eye is bigger than the other here. And if you, if Crash, if this was a 3D model and you were to turn Crash around to the right, which is his left, this eye will be facing how the fuck the Crash 2 remake, remade art is looking. So I don't see why they're like, oh, his eye is smaller. No, it's not. I mean, it is, but that's to be expected. So Crash always had one eye bigger than the other for a while. Sometimes they're normal, sometimes they're not. He's an unpredictable character, so you got to expect that. I think even in this funny ass shot, one eye is bigger than the other. Yup. Boom, boom. He always had bigger, one eye bigger than the other. Always. This should not be new to y'all, yo. Okay, they're like the same size here. Oh, this is a perfect example. Well, nearly perfect. Boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. Right there. Oh, I think right here. I actually cut out this model from the trailer that I used for my unboxing of the Skylanders Imaginators thing. And I, I by the way, I threw that shit away. I threw, I threw that, I threw that shit away. I threw the game away. I threw the portal away. I threw all of it away. I still got Crashing Cortex though. I ain't throwing these away. But <clears throat> excuse me. Yeah. Boom boom. Crash always had big eyes. Don't trip over. The fucking crash Twitter. He always had big eyes, yo. See even in this he don't he doesn't have, he doesn't have big eyes, but he's crazy. When someone's crazy, they're unpredictable. They're not repetitive. They don't show the same you know form of action or whatever. So this this is nothing. Like when I first saw it, I thought it yeah, I did thought it looked tiny. Or a bit too tiny, but then now when I look at it, it doesn't look tiny at all. It's it's okay, you know. And nothing's wrong with this. He cortex, you know, his eye size is the same, but he's not crazy. Crash is crazy, so it's it's all it's it's consistent. They know what the fuck they're doing, and. People really need to stop treating Vicarious Visions as if they don't know what they're doing. Some people think it's Activision. It's not Activision. It's all Vicarious Visions. 
know, Activision is just publishing this shit. Wait a minute. Why does these two have more detail than this one? Man, who the fuck is running this account, dude? I want to be I want to be one of the runners of this Twitter account or have them follow me at least. But you know, they're not going to follow me. I'm just a nigga. But yeah, man, uh we're going to see gameplay this Friday. Although I ain't want to. We are Jesus Christ, Tomb Raider is de defeating. I'm kind of surprised Future Frenzy ain't winning, to be honest. Like, if anything, the only level I'm, I really wanted to see was uh, Future Frenzy, although my dumb ass ain't even vote for it. I voted for Tomb Raider. But, it's whatever. Um, but yeah, again, in terms of this art, do not do not get thrown off by his eye. He, he always had one eye bigger than the other always and that's a fact if you can't see it then you're just blind but yeah i like these two this is my least favorite out of the three remade but it still looks good in its own right so yeah i feel like i'm about to end off a video but in reality i'm still fucking streaming so i'm definitely gonna highlight this and put it on my channel so people know or so people can hear my opinion on the whole crash thing and now i don't even know what i'm gonna do with this whole like um the why crash bandicoot 3 will be shown at e3 video like what am i gonna do with that now since they're showing off footage this fucking friday unexpectedly that's what i'm saying too i'm glad i mentioned it in the video too that the like crash insane trilogy news it, the, the the updates are so sporadic you know it takes a nerd to understand the whole um the uh the schedule of when updates will happen and it's just strange so yeah i mean i don't know what to do should i disable the comments the ratings i mean this would be the second biggest crash video i've had to disable something or just i'm gonna just I don't even know what to do with this shit at this point. Maybe I'll just... I don't know. I, I honestly don't know. I'm gonna just disable all of it. You know, that video was up in April. In April, YouTube got nerfed. So I couldn't even, like... This video would have been, like, the, the banger to give me money. Like, a lot of money. But it didn't. Because YouTube's and ads... Big ads got taken away. So I couldn't really do much. Oh my fucking god. If you're wondering why this is here, you know, it's because of a tweet I mentioned earlier. But, yo, there is something that I need to fucking show y'all. And it is the funniest shit in the world. I swear to God, I thought this shit was photoshopped. But they... How the, how the fuck... How? Nigga, how? How? how I, I thought this was photoshopped. It's not photoshopped. This is actually an error. Like... Oh, they did fix it. Oh my God. Thank God, bro. <laughs> I thought they didn't fix it. They fixed it, bro. They fixed the candles. Yo, God bless. <laughs> See, this is an actual fix that I'll give a plus to Crash Vans for. That other shit, pointless. Oh my Lord. I thought they were never going to fix that <laughs> I'm glad they fixed it though. These candles look dope though. I know there's more merch, but this shit too expensive and yeah, I ain't, this this is not the same Aku Aku keychain you get for uh, pre-ordering the game. But yo, why they got yo? All of this shit is official. Like this is by Activision. But they got a lot of fucking crash merchandise, and this shit looks really nice, man. They got mugs. Well, I want to know, did they have the mugs right before the candles? Somebody tell me that shit, because I don't even know. Um, They got a lot of mugs. They could have done a little better with the hats. This wallet, though, I want this wallet. I mean, I have this ruby wallet, but it's kind of small. 
But yo, this 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 Crash Bandicoot wallet looks pretty nice. How much does it cost? And this is wait, Amazon US. What? Twenty-three dollars for a. F you got me fucked all the way up. Hell no, I'm not paying no goddamn almost thirty dollars for a wallet, bro. <laughs> you got me fucked.